Wow. This has a fur coat. So the hose is all the way around this way and about 80 feet that way. Stick around. I'll show you how to use this here. Smash that thumbs up button in advance. pretty bad. I'm just going to get the big stuff off and then I'll spray it down. So this is the Supco Porta Blaster coil cleaning made easy. So this is a little push connector, snaps on. This is your outside route terminal. And then on this other side, this is your in. This has also got a quick connect. You just push, it's set. And then this goes in here and it's got a little clip. So you got your five gallon bucket of water, your, your screen hose goes down there with a little clip on the side. And this, this works really well. This is quick connect. This goes on here like this. Just using this Milwaukee top off. Uh, battery's full. This will produce 140 watts. And this only this only consumes 80 watts. So you just plug it in here and you turn it on. We want high pressure because we're doing the outside coil. Turn that on. So we're about 145 PSI. Yes, yeah, so we can also adjust the tip to make it more of a, a little bit more of an angled You can see the dirt washing away. So, final thoughts. Uh, I was able to wash this whole two and a half ton 16 sear coil down with five gallons of but five gallons of water uh, that saved me half the string of hose and or and or if they didn't have a anywhere to get water on the outside I could always go into the bathtub or sink and fill that up but and I still have uh, full bars I used it on that mini split uh, video I'll leave the link in the description up there um, I don't recommend doing it for that but for outdoor coils even the evaporator coils inside uh, this uh, porta blaster is the way to go I'll leave the link in the description below for this porta blaster the Milwaukee top off 
Um, I'm assuming you'll probably already have a battery, but yeah, you'll need this Milwaukee top off and then you don't have to worry about running extension cords or nothing. This will save you so much time and have to run a hose over and then you just plug this thing in and boom, you're done. On to the next call. If you got any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up button and I'll see you on the next one.